Hi, I'm Claire. Um, my pronouns are literally any of them. Um, I am a senior narrative designer on the New York City team, and I've been working at Gameloft for a little over five years now. So as a senior narrative designer, I juggle a bunch of different projects um, and I am sometimes leading them, sometimes I'm assisting with them, but basically my duties have to do with everything related to narrative. So that is dialogue, of course, a ton of dialogue, um, names and descriptions for items or other assets in the game. Um, I also help with world building, brainstorming, character creation, um, environmental design. Sometimes I dabble uh, in art. Uh, yeah, basically everything related to narrative is what I do and what my team does. So I got my start in film and TV, which is what I went to university for. And I started focusing on writing, uh, screenwriting in particular. Um, and right out of college, I got a job at like an animation studio that did screenwriting for animated movies and cartoons. Um, and when I was done with that, I, you know, I learned a lot about film industry and the animation industry, and I wanted to get back to my original love, uh, which was video games. Uh, and Gameloft had an entry-level position for writers specifically, which was really cool and really rare in the industry. And I wish that more companies would take a chance on, uh, you know, entry-level positions. But I applied and I got in. I guess they liked my writing uh, and I'm super grateful to them for, for coaching me. I really learned a lot from that entry-level position. I love the people at this company. I love my colleagues. Everyone is here like in the pursuit of art and video games and that's kind of what brings us all together. We're trying to make something cool and we all love games. So it's just, there's something very special about like knowing that you're all here for the same purpose and connecting over that and then, you know, finding uh, shared loves and goals amongst people from like all over the world. Um, so I would say uh, the people I work with really make me feel like I belong. Uh, everyone is really supportive. Uh, it's, I've been lucky enough to be in a really nice environment with really good people. Diversity and inclusion in a game, I, I always want a diverse and inclusive game to be made by a diverse and inclusive team. And you can really tell when a team has like worked to create a good environment, a supportive environment, an inclusive environment for everyone. You can definitely tell when like marginalized people have like a seat at the table and are contributing and feel safe enough to contribute. Um, I guess like on the surface level, you know, a game that has a wide array of characters who look different and sound different and are different from each other in a way that is like authentic and not, you know, pandering. Um, and the way that you get that authenticity is by, you know, having a diverse and inclusive team and uh, having people who, you know, sit down and listen and uh, write really interesting characters and create really interesting characters. So, I mean, it's no secret that the games industry can be really like volatile and nasty. I mean, we've all seen the news articles. We've all been there, especially, you know, those of us who are not necessarily white or men or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, you do, you do sometimes like feel your, your difference. You feel deeply that like you are different when you're in a room with uh, a lot of people who, uh, you know, have dominated the games industry and are, you know, the same. Um, but I also think it's important to remember that, like, most people are good and everyone is an individual. And I feel like I have gotten over some of those uncomfortable moments kind of just by digging my heels in and being like, okay, how can we connect? You know, like, I understand that you 
are thinking differently from me. Maybe it's from a place of ignorance. I would hope it's from a place of ignorance and not uh, you being mean. Uh, and usually it is just from a place of ignorance and then like we can come together and learn from each other. Uh, I think when you when you start speaking honestly with people who might not know what they're making you feel, uh, you can really reach some interesting moments with them. Uh, yeah, and again, I've been I've been lucky to work with people who are willing to like listen to me. You are creating a kinder industry, a kinder working environment by encouraging inclusivity and diversity and you make better art, you make more interesting games, uh, you inspire more people, you give more people a chance to uh, become artists, to get into the industry. Um, I think some serious work needs to be done to make the games industry a truly inclusive place. But I, I don't know, when different people come together and start telling stories, it's like, it's magical. It's the best way to make art. So I really do hope for a uh, kinder and more equitable industry. Um, I think a lot of our problems come from these like really rigid power structures that have been very, you know, male dominated, not just male dominated, but also like white dominated for a really long time. I would love to see that hierarchy kind of flatten. Uh, so we have more people getting a seat at the table, being listened to, um, you know, holding each other accountable for abuses of power that are done in a way that is effective and not just, you know, blowing smoke. Um, yeah, I really hope for a games industry where people can come together and listen to each other um, and make art because like that's what we're all here for. You know, <laughs> we're not here to be in a power struggle. We're here to like make great things, uh, help each other out support each other. Um, solidarity is really important. Mutual support is really important. Uh, celebrate your differences. Uh, we're not all the same and that's a good thing. Uh, we need different voices. We need different stories. Uh, listening is really important. You need to learn to like be a little quiet and listen to the people around you, especially if they're of marginalized identity. Um, you know, if you're wondering what you could do for people who are marginalized in the games industry, there's so much literature out there. There are presentations, there are YouTube videos. Uh, go listen to them. Educate yourself. It's fun, I promise. It's really not boring. And you're going to, like, massively improve your team and yourself if you do that. Um, also, you know, raise your colleagues up. If you notice someone who is struggling, who seems afraid, uh, help them. And it's important to not put people in the spotlight. That's, I think that's an important distinction, but kind of help them from a level playing field. Um, yeah, make sure your friends are heard. Make sure that marginalized voices are heard. Be bold, be confident. Uh, I think the industry needs more voices. Uh, reach out to people. There are plenty of really friendly people in the games industry that would love to help and love to talk to you. Um, you know, stand up for yourself. Look for the people who share your ideals. You never know when something you say will like inspire somebody. And I think the games industry is in dire need of you know, real like solidarity and inspiration. Um, be friendly and make art, you know? <laughs>